Do you see this? Do you see this face? Do you see this? This is the face of Haggard. I'm not wearing any pants. Lately, I've been in this sort of funk because my work schedule is fucking with my head. It's all over the place and I uh, can't do what I'd like to do, which is write something other than news. Anyway, I decided to look on Facebook today and saw that uh, one of the teen moms named Farah. I don't watch the show whatsoever. Multiple people have asked me to rant on it. I tried to watch it and I said, fuck no, three minutes in. So one of the little teen moms decided to release her own song today. I don't know if she's trolling us. I don't know what the fuck's going on. But either way, I'm giving her attention by bringing your attention to it. I'll say it again, not all attention is good attention. I don't care that I'm getting the word out about it because the word is a shitty word. Apparently this girl's gone through a lot. I'm not trying to trivialize anybody's pain, anybody's issues, what the fuck ever. Just, what the fuck is this? I'm sorry. Derp, derp, what? Oh god! That's the only way you can listen to it when it's completely fucking muted. Studio album. <laughs> There's no way. I'm sorry. I know Lil Wayne is out in the world. I know Drake's out in the world. I know a lot of auto-tuned pieces of shit are out in the world, but there's no way a studio executive is going to say, okay, wrap it up, put a fucking label on it, let's get it out there. No, 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 no. Teen Mom is now in its final season because, turns out, here's the kicker. Nobody gives a shit about these girls' lives anymore. It went on for, what, four seasons, something like that? Here's my whole thing about this whole thing. I never watched Teen Mom. I never wanted to watch Teen Mom. I never had the desire to watch 16 and Pregnant because when that came out, let's face it, what was I, like 21? Can't be a teenager anymore. I'm done with that part of my life. I don't give a shit. When 16 and Pregnant evolved into Teen Mom, that's where I see the, uh, the not contributing anything to society again <laughs> kind of took over. 16 and Pregnant at least showed the process how hard it is to be a teenager who is pregnant in high school. That would deter people from, well, teenagers from, uh, I guess, having unprotected sex in high school. But then, here's what happens. Teen Mom takes off. It makes these girls into celebrities for getting knocked up. Yes, celebrities that are on the cover of In Touch. Everybody knows every little fucking detail about their life because they were on an MTV show. I had to write a script about Amber fucking Portwood getting arrested. That's not okay. That's not okay. <laughs> God. Then the main focus that 16 and Pregnant had, aka Be Safe, um, gets kind of lost because now these girls are celebrities. And we care about them. We care that Amber Portwood, no, Farah Abraham is putting out this song. And we care that she's writing a memoir and she wants to be a model. <laughs> it became nothing more than just a regular shitty ass take a break from your own shitty life reality TV show. Frankly, I'm sick of this shit. But reality TV is just the thing that sells these days. It's that little break you get from your own bullshit. And you just watch some other crazy family going on and on and on about what the fuck ever! Oh, and you know, uh, you know that little girl from my favorite show, uh, Toddlers and Tiaras? You know that little girl who said, Honey Boo Boo Chow? And, um, give me the money, honey. And she would drink this go-go juice. And her mom was really gross looking and 
fat. I'm sorry, gross. I know that's rude, but ugh. yeah, they're getting their own reality show. <sighs> People are going to say like, oh, you know, like I can just ignore it and I will ignore it. I'm not going to give them ratings. I'm not going to watch the show. If I were to watch the show for research for a future rant, I'm downloading that shit. Sorry. They don't count ratings for Netflix videos. It just sucks for me to see that, you know, as the years go on, it's already fucking August. What the hell is that about? It's already August, and we're just creeping closer and closer to 2013, and it just, the bar keeps getting set lower and lower and lower and lower and lower. You get very few good TV shows that are out now. You get very good few you get very few good anything these days, you know? It's like a gem that you find in, like, a hunk of shit. So why is it so popular? Would you rather watch a completely normal family, normal family, sitting down at the dining room table, discussing their day, and then cleaning up the dishes, or would you rather see a bunch of idiots yelling at each other, saying these ridiculous things, that you would never say in your day-to-day -day life. What are you going to watch? That's your explanation. But I still don't fucking have to like it. Or appreciate it. Or give it any sort of commendation. <laughs> the thing that just bothers me about both these aspects, about the teen mom and the, and the I almost said honey boo-boo child. Oh my god. That and the toddlers and tiaras. The thing that I don't like about it is that these are little kids. Like, little, little kids. Fuck the teen moms right now. <laughs> Sounds dirty. I'm talking about their kids. These are little kids that are exposed to the horrors of the entertainment industry at such a young age. And with the, with the way that the internet is now and social media and all that shit, everybody's got to have an opinion about it. So you're going to hear all this crazy shit about yourself that is never going to go away until the internet explodes in a blaze of porn and kittens. I, I just think about that. I'm like, what are these, what are these kids going to be like when they grow up? It's scary to me. I'm sorry. I'm a worry wart. I don't know. That's pretty much all I have to say about that. I won't be watching either of it. I will not be <laughs> going on the iTunes store to buy Miss Farah's audiobook <laughs> and I won't be listening to her album anymore because my ears have been hurt enough for one day. These are signs of the apocalypse, the impending apocalypse. So uh, yeah, I guess I'll meet you guys in purgatory. Later, bitches.